Yay, we made it to Friday, the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, the number 10, sometimes the number one when we do numerology in tarot cards. 10 and one, kind of the same. Um, this wheel, uh, we have the four fixed signs of the zodiac. We have Leo and Taurus. We have uh, Scorpio, I believe is thought to be the eagle, and Aquarius. And they are holding down the four corners as the Wheel of Fortune turns. Um, this is uh, just sometimes interesting in this. This is sort of the reincarnation of souls. I forget the word for this gentleman, that he is about regeneration. So we see on top is the Sphinx, which is sort of the conscious and what's going on. Then it goes down around and he is, uh, Scorpios know the underworld. He is coming up from the underworld and his head is supposed to go just above this line to pop out, to know that um, he's coming up. He's, he's coming out of the underworld into the conscious. Um, sorry about the motorcycle outside or whatever the heck just drove by my house. Um, they are all reading books. They are all taking in information. They are all about wisdom. And the wisdom of the Wheel of Fortune is that the only thing that is constant is change. So we must understand and not fear change. That's what everyone was hoping for. Everyone talked to me about change for 2021 and I was like, well, we had a lot of change in 2020. So uh, maybe you had a hope for being uh, flexible in change or accepting of that change. So for Friday, the wheel of change always brings me to where I should be. Uh, people hate it when you say that. The wheel of change always brings me to where I should be. Now that's not that everything is all good. I'm not an it's all good person. But sometimes lessons bring us to darker places, but they're where we should be. But when you have that confidence you're where you should be, then you get your lessons. We lose control. We get what we lose. We forget about control and we get what's going on. The wheel of change always brings me to where I should be. Have a great week, everybody.